Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, here we have another Ameritron AL811. I'm going to show you the SO239 connectors. Absolutely no grip. This one is a teeny wee... Yeah, there's like almost, there's like nothing. And this one's even worse. Actually, wobble it back and forth, up, down. So I'm going to change those. The customer taped the leads to. Actually, he must have had it taped over here. The braided material looks okay. I like to tape them up underneath, like this. See, up underneath carefully, and wrap the tape around. Couple, a few times. Don't use duct tape. Electrical tape works fine or scotch tape. So the filter caps are soldered in. I'm going to remove those, change the resistors. Had a LED lamp taped between the meters. That's not good because it could end up touching something over here when it comes untaped. So I'm going to add the two gas discharge tubes. I don't see any MOVs in here, so I don't have to. I don't have to remove those. Customer set a sent a set of Pentalab tubes. I checked them on my tester; they look okay. Play choke look, choke looks okay. Air variables look okay. I don't see anything else. So I'm gonna get to work on this. Oh, actually, plate blocking cap is cracked. So I'll have to change that. So, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. This thing, this thing needed a lot of little things. Took some time. So, replaced all of the resistors. Put in better resistors. Got rid of the pink ones that are prone to failing. Put in brand new filter caps. Someone had soldered caps in. Someone put it in the meter protection diode backwards, so put in a brand new diode. Replaced the crack, cracked plate blocking capacitor, which is right here. Put two in parallel, give some more current handling capability. Added a gas discharge tube cap, one per side of the filament. This got Pentalab tubes, awesome company, great customer service. Also had to replace the SO239 connectors. The old ones had no grip whatsoever, so got brand new Teflon SO239 connectors. Cleaned the contacts on the band switch and the input rotary switch with deoxy gold, along with the contacts on the TR and bias relay over here. That this one has the open frame type. This is an older one. Replaced the burnt out incandescent bulbs with brand new LEDs and changed the dropping resistor over here and got rid of that other lamp that was in there so everything's all done it's ready to go also put in the proper size fuses so thanks for watching the website is amprepairguy.com that's amprepairguy.com and my phone number is 203 892 4119, that's 203 892 4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Catch you later.